When the sun goes down, there's another group that occasionally lays claim to the wide open spaces of the Phoenix Park, and they're astronomers. With 9,000 members, Astronomy Ireland organises an annual event called Moonwatch at the Papal Cross here. It's open to all comers, giving people the chance to learn from the experts. We caught up with a few as they were getting ready for the night. At the Artane headquarters of Astronomy Ireland, it's time to disassemble some of the telescopes and transport them to the Phoenix Park for the Moonwatch event. You can buy telescopes here starting from a few hundred euro right up to equipment costing many thousands. The telescopes can be taken apart in minutes. This routine of assembly and disassembly is commonplace for serious astronomers because they often have to bring their instruments to whatever location may offer the best viewing of the night sky at any particular time of the year. <coughs> yeah, well, there are no craters on it, I suppose, because um, when... when uh... Out at the Phoenix Park, it's pitch dark in the car park beside the Papal Cross. But all around, there are little huddles of men, women and children who have braved the cold to come out and have a look at the wonders of the night sky. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Astronomy Ireland's annual Moon Watch. We have a lovely clear sky here. If you have very keen eyesight, just below the moon, you'll be able to see the beautiful Pleiades star cluster. What keeps on dragging us out, well, it's the fact when you look at through a telescope, you're actually looking at something that's 800 million kilometres away, like, and you see, you see a star, and what we see is the rings of Saturn, the cloud belts of Jupiter and that's it's such a distance away but when you look through, through a telescope it's no more than an inch away from your face and for people to see that it's absolutely spectacular if you want to know where the universe came from where we all came from that's astronomy it's a fascinating subject and you can be interested at so many levels you can be interested in setting up telescopes on cold dark winters evenings looking at the moon and planets or you can contemplate where the universe came from and the big bang and all the nuts and bolts of how it all works or where is it going to or are we alone are there aliens out there are there aliens amongst us some people would think uh, you can be interested from the mathematical side right the way through the artistic beauty of some of the pictures that come back from space so there's something there for everybody young old technical or simple with the latest technology, it's possible to project the telescope images onto a large screen. Thus, everyone can see them. The focus tonight is on the moon and the planets. The experts are on hand to share their knowledge with the interested observers who have turned up to learn more about the heavens. What we do here is, when we get the, the, uh, the particular object we want in the telescope, we put in a webcam into here, connect the webcam to the laptop computer and from there we take the message into a, a projector and from that up onto the screen. The Moonwatch event has an overt educational function. Young boys and girls seem to have a natural affinity with astronomy. It excites their sense of wonder and awe and they're quite happy to tolerate the cold to have their questions answered by the veteran stargazers who are on hand at the Moonwatch gathering. And he discovered that they were the moons of Jupiter. Jupiter had moons, just like we have one moon. It has, it has four moons. In fact, it has something like 34 moons, but he could only see four of them. And they are now called the Galilean moons really is beautiful when you see it close up from the, yeah. from the spaceships. But which of the, the three astronauts didn't put his foot on the moon? Oh, oh, um, no. Uh, Buzz. Buzz and... Uh, Buzz Aldrin, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Why he, was he not allowed? He had to stay behind the wheel. He had to mind the shop while they went off. Uh, was there ever a dog up there? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. Was there, a dog up there, was, there was a dog called Laika. Yeah, and the Russians sent him up. Yeah. He, well, the, you see, it was, it was very dangerous to send people up. So in order to send, uh, to, to do tests and things like that, they sent animals up. They could have done a, a cat. Yeah. They could have done a cat, yeah. Would you rather a cat? Yeah. Scores of men, women and children have made their way out to the park for this annual showcase of Astronomy Ireland's equipment and expertise. The Phoenix Park is the ideal venue for such an event. Everyone present seems to believe the trip has been worthwhile. It was fabulous. It was a good view of the moon. Very interesting. Four different telescopes and you could see a few stars on that as well. It was good. We saw the moon and the stars.
Aside from the Moonwatch and other similar events, Astronomy Ireland runs all sorts of courses and the organisation always welcomes new members. You can find out more on their website, www.astronomy.ie. So from the Phoenix Park, we say goodbye. Next week, I'm heading towards Finglas to meet a photographer who makes women happy. So join me for that. Bye for now.